Hi, so getting started in affiliate marketing, what's the difference between a blog and a website? Because we established on the last video that we do need a blog or a website to get started because most affiliate pla marketing platforms will insist on it. So then how do you decide between them and what is the difference between a blog and a website? Well, put simply, a blog is more informal. It can often be a sort of a more journal sort of um, entries in there. And you've got to keep updating content. It's you that's actually going to be keeping on updating the content. Uh, it's not, as I say, more informal in style, more like a journal. And it's normally in chronological order. Whereas a website, that's got more static content, meaning that you put sort of a home page and an about page and your product page. And then once you write it once, it just stays on there forever unless you've got anything to update on there. So it's really down to personal choice. I mean, I've got both. I've got a website and I've got a blog. To be honest, for most instances with affiliate marketing, I would recommend a blog because you can actually do some reviews and some um, comparisons and lots of how-tos on there. Whereas with the website, it would just be formal, more static content on there. Either once you put it on there, once it just stays on there. So my advice would be a blog because blog is slightly cheaper as well. When I've done sort of price comparisons, um, they generally a, a, a website for me was coming in about double I thought to what the blog was. But obviously, do your own check in the prices because it's down to the individual and what sort of blog or website you want. How much would it cost if you had something to do professionally for you? On average, I'm finding that a five page website, if you wanted a website, costs around about the 600 plus uh, for a person to do it for you. That's sort of people that are on LinkedIn. Obviously, if you went to a site like Five, you might get it cheaper, but I tend to go through LinkedIn because they're people I've connected with and got to know, and I know I'll get a good job with them. So as I say, if you haven't got time to do it yourself and you've got a bit of funds, then obviously get somebody to do it for you. The other difference between a blog and a website would be time. It would be down to time. If you haven't got time to do a blog at least once a week, then maybe the website would be the best one for you, where you just put a one-off review on your, of your product on there and just keep it on there. But as I say, if you have got some time available, even if it's only just a blog once a week, I would recommend a blog for when you're getting started in affiliate marketing because it's a bit cheaper and it's something you can put your personal stamp on. Because, for example, one of the niches I have is OCD and I've got a website that promotes a book that I've written about OCD. But in my blog, I give some stories so that people can get to know the story behind what sort of inspired me to write my book about OCD. So it gives a slightly different slant and that it gives a more personal perspective of your business and into you and into your life. All right, so that's it for today's video on affiliate marketing and getting started as a beginner and you know the difference between whether to choose a blog or a website as ever if you found this useful please pop a comment in the in the comment section or if you've got a question and as i say feel free to join my facebook group as well i'll put a link in the comment section as well for you and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell to make sure you don't miss any future videos all right that's it for now bye for now